Okay, play along with me. You're so beautiful, he whispered. I want a picture of you like this with your face flushed and your lips wet and shiny. He tore open a foil packet he retrieved from his pocket, mesmerized. She watched him shift himself, amazed at how hard he was. She reached out to touch him, but he moved back, made sure she was ready, and then slid neatly inside her. So deeply she gasped. She contracted her muscles around him. And he closed his eyes and groaned. The sound so primal, it made her skin tingle. (laughs) Did you guys like that? All right. So human sexual behavior is a diverse phenomenon. It occurs in different physical locations and social contexts consists of a wide range of specific activities and is perceived differently by different people. An individual engages in sexual activity on the basis of a complex set of motivations and organizes that activity on the basis of numerous external factors and influences. Thus, it is likely that the tools and concepts from any single scientific discipline will suffice to answer all or even most of the questions one might ask about sexual behavior. Okay, now listen up. Strikingly different though they may seem, both types of communications that I just displayed are basically talking about the same thing, sex. Yes, we can say it aloud, sex, sex, sex. The first connotation is from a romance novel. I hope I did it justice. It is intended to stimulate the reader's fantasies and arousal. The second is from a scholarly book about sex. It aims to stimulate the brain, but not the genitals. From hearing these two brief excerpts, we can quickly see that the topic of sexuality is diverse, complex, and it's fascinating. But the question is, why study sex? Most people are curious about sex, particularly because exchanging sexual information is somewhat taboo in many cultures, not just our own. So curiosity motivates us to study sex. Sex is an important force in many people's lives. So there are practical reasons for wanting to learn about it. Finally, most people at various times experience problems with sexual functioning or wish that they would function better and hope that learning about sex will help them. Well, I hope that my lectures will definitely be of assistance. So, let us consider various perspectives on sexuality, the effects of religion, science, and culture, and our understanding of sexuality, as well as the sexual health perspectives. These perspectives will give you a glimpse of the forest before you actually study the trees. We will study all about sexual anatomy, the ins and outs, the different parts of sexuality. But first, we must draw an important distinction between sex and gender. So in my next lecture, we will dive into the differences between sex and gender and also about sexual behavior.